സംഗീത വെൽക്കം ബാക്ക് ടു അനദർ ലെക്ചർ ഓഫ് ഡെന്റൽ പാഷല വെ വി ഹെൽപ് യു അണ്ടർസ്റ്റാൻഡ് ആൻഡ് ലേൺ ഡെന്റിസ്ട്രി ബെറ്റർ ആൻഡ് ഈസി വാൻ ടുഡേ ടോപ്പിക് വി ആർ ഗോയിങ് ടു ടോക്ക് അബൌട്ട് ദ ട്യൂമർ വെയർ ഇൻ ദർ ഇസ് ഇൻക്രീസ് ഇൻ ദ സെൽ നമ്പർ സോ വിതൌട്ട് ഫോർ ദ ഡ്യൂ ലെറ്റ്സ് ഗെറ്റ് സ്റ്റാർട്ടഡ് welcome back to 10 in 10 series where we cover each topic under 10 headings in 10 minutes and today's topic is the aving sarcoma or we can say p and et the peripheral primitive neuroectodermal tumors before we get started make sure to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon so that you don't miss any of our notifications so talking about the aving sarcoma so this is basically as the name so just sarcoma so this means it is a malignant neoplasm right so this is a highly malignant distinctive primary mesenchymal neoplasm of the bone so if we talk about the primary malignant neoplasm of the bone so first most common primary malignant neoplasm of the bone is the osteosarcoma second one we know is the chondrosarcoma third one is the aving sarcoma so aving sarcoma is the third most common primary malignant neoplasm of the bone and why aving sarcoma because it was first reported described by the james aving so this aving sarcoma it is derived from or it is developed from the endothelial cells of the blood vessels which are present in the bone so in the bone we have blood vessels and within this blood vessel there is endothelial cell proliferation and because of that there is a sarcoma there is a malignant uh, tumor so which one is this this is the aving sarcoma also it can develop from the undifferentiated reticulo endothelial cells this was the previous concept now recently we say that the origin is from the neuroectodermal origin and hence the name peripheral primitive neuroectodermal tumor because recently it is said that it is aving sarcoma is originated or it is derived from the peripheral neuroectodermal cells so that is why peripheral primitive neuroectodermal tumor so this uh the avex sarcoma account for 10% of all of the malignant tumors and 80% of the time it is seen below 20 years of age most frequently seen in the white people again males ratio is higher for the cancer than female so it affects the long bones of the lower extremities usually the femur pelvic bone and mandible is more frequently affected than the maxilla so what happens in the avex sarcoma there is a rapid swelling with severe pain so we hardly see pain in any tumor but in case of avex sarcoma there is the rapid swelling otherwise if you if you see there is a pattern of other tumors which is which are slow growing or slow enlarging right but the avex sarcoma is rapid swelling with a severe pain so initial symptoms of the avex sarcoma are same as that of osteomyelitis so the tumor perforates into the cortical plate of the bone and in fact it protruded as a soft tissue mass overlying the affected bone so if you see there is unexplained loosening of the teeth which is a clinical feature of a avex sarcoma that it ex it because there is loosening of the teeth and other symptoms include there is leukocytosis a uh, moderate fever patient will be seen with anemia and there is increase in the esr rate so this avex sarcoma because it is a highly malignant neoplasm of the bone right so this the, the which bone is affected mandible is affected more than the maxilla and it is seen in the long bones otherwise other than the oral tissues it is usually seen in the lower extremities so what happens because of the endothelial cells proliferation of the blood vessel within the bone there is avex sarcoma and why the avex because it was given by the james avex so if you remember this is a third most common primary malignant neoplasm of the bone and remember always remember that there is severe pain which is associated in case of avex sarcoma because almost other all other sarcoma there is no pain which we see so what happen this tumor actually perforate the cortical plate and perforating the cortical plate it protrudes 
it comes out from the soft tissue so it comes out it protrudes as a soft tissue mass overlying the affected bone and if we see in the radiograph there is radiolucent area which is seen with a ill defined margin so the border are not not uh, well defined so borders are very ill defined and there is radiolucency which is seen there is because there is a destruction of the cortical plate because this tumor perforates the cortical plate so the wide there is a wide spread destruction of the bone which is seen in the radiograph of avex sarcoma so what we see is see what happens in case of uh, this avex sarcoma there are neoplastic cells there are tumor cells which looks like the lymphocyte as you can see there there is also leukocytosis there is also increase in the asr see what happens in case of avex sarcoma is that the neoplastic cells no they look like uh, lymphocytes so the sheets of neoplastic cells they are separated from one another with very thin fibrous connective tissue very thin fibrous band which contains small blood vessels and some chronic inflammatory cells so these neoplastic cells they are separated with very thin layer of very thin band of fibrous tissue so the appearance is like a onion skin appearance as you can see the, the the skin of the onion is very thin if you can see in this so if you can see if you can see here because the th see because the uh, the layers of the onion there is very thin band or very thin layer if you see so if you can see there is very thin layer so very thin layer of the skin which is present see this is very thin band if if you can see here so because of that because of this thin layer we call it the onion skin appearance because the layering if you see because of the exophytic reaction the lamellar layering is like a onion skin so it's onion skin so the appearance is like a onion skin which is because of the very thin fibrous band is there which is separating the neoplastic cells the sheets of the neoplastic cells from one another so th there is a very thin fibrous band which contains the blood vessels the inflammatory cells and there the radiographically if we see it is onion skin appearance which is due to the lamellar layering and of due to exophytic reaction which is the radiographic appearance so this is about the avex sarcoma which is a highly malignant primary mesenchymal neoplasm of the bone radiographically we will see the onion skin appearance histopathologically the neoplastic cells will appear will appear more like lymphocytes so these sheets of neoplastic cells these sheets of tumor cells they are separated from one another with very thin fibrous band Uh, which contains the blood vessels and the inflammatory cells and the tumor it perforates even the cortical plate it uh, spreads very rapidly uh, and there is swelling there is uh, severe pain which is seen so guys this is about the avex sarcoma or peripheral primitive neuroectodermal tumor i hope that you have enjoyed the video so if you have enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up also you can comment in the comment section below and there is a link in the description box below to support me on patreon as well as on paypal to make free videos for you guys and to make free notes so guys till then keep reading keep learning stay motivated i will see you soon in the next video